Hi friend, my name is Tori Danielson and I'm the Digital Design Director here at Proverbs 31 Ministries. Along with an amazing team, we help to keep our brand consistent, relevant, and beautiful through graphic design and photography. So I'd love to let you in on some industry secrets that we use at Proverbs 31 every day. One is color and typography. One of the best ways to showcase your brand's personality is by strategically using color. At Proverbs, we typically use colors that are bright and inspiring. What do you want your audience to feel when they engage with your content? Research a little about the psychology of color theory to determine what colors feel right for your brand. Here are some color palette examples and what they communicate. Typography is also an important element to consider. Readability is super important these days since most everyone views content on their phones. So, mobile-friendly content is a must. Here are some practical things for you to consider. I'll use social graphics as our example. One, consider the font size. The larger the text, the easier it is for people to read and the more likely it is that people will connect with your content. Two, consider contrast. Make your words stand out. Avoid busy backgrounds or elements that might be a distraction. Keep it simple. Three, consider font type. Trendy fonts are fun, but they might not be the easiest to read. Use trendy fonts sparingly and as more of an accent. Mood boards. At the beginning of every project, book release, or event, we create a mood board. It serves as a collection of images and colors that we use as inspiration as we plan photo shoots and design social media content. This helps set the mood and vibe. Here's an example of a mood board we've created for a project here at Proverbs. There are so many resources out there that can help you get off the blank page. Canva is a great platform for non-designers that's free and easy to use. Hopefully, you're already a little familiar with it after receiving the free templates we sent when you registered. So, let's design a mood board together in Canva. Once you've created an account, go to the home page and search mood board. You'll have a lot of options, but let's go with this one. It's a simple grid and has all the elements that we need. Browse through thousands of free images on Canva or save images from Pinterest that fit your brand. Upload these, then drag and drop them into your template like this. These images can be photography ideas, textures, or just anything that you find that sparks creativity and evokes the mood that you're going for. Then add some images that inspire typography. Now let's pull some colors for your color palette. Canva has a really helpful feature for this. Click on the color swatch in the top left corner where you see photo colors, click see all. As you can see, it automatically pulls color swatches from your images, making it really simple to select the colors that feel right for your project. Finally, include keywords and adjectives that support the mood you're going for. This will help you keep your content and designs aligned with your mission. Reference this as you design content. It will help ensure all of the decisions you need to make about your project along the way are guided and informed and much easier. The number one thing that makes for good visual branding is consistency. If you look at our website, proverbs31.org, you'll notice that we use only two fonts and just a few primary colors. We use supporting imagery and graphics that help keep the content fresh and engaging. Our daily devotional emails use the same fonts and colors. This is a subtle and simple way we keep our delivered content consistent and on brand. We design more creatively with fonts and colors on our social accounts, but we use our P31 logo in the bottom corner of our graphics. Seeing a logo over and over again helps your audience recognize and trust your brand. I hope that you found this helpful and feel more equipped to connect with your community through good design. Feel free to reach out to me on Instagram with any questions that you may have. I would love to connect with you.